Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Letia B. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some more Design Essentials products. Um, and the products that I'm gonna be reviewing are all from their Naturals line this time. So I'm gonna be reviewing the Almond and Avocado Moisturizing and Detangling Sulfate Free Shampoo. And this product is a gentle cleansing shampoo that's infused with hydrating almond and avocado, plus nourishing botanicals to hydrate, soften, and detangle even the curliest and coiliest hair textures. I'm also going to be trying out the Almond and Avocado Moisturizing and Detangling Conditioner. And this product uses the hydrating power of almond, avocado, and shea butter to nourish and replenish hair moisture, softens, moisturizes, and detangles to leave hair soft and manageable. So from the title, you obviously can see that it is wash day. This is a wash with me, a wash my hair with me. Uh, I don't know. It's a wash day video. <laughs> so I'm going to be using these two products to cleanse and condition my hair. And then for styling purposes, I'm going to be using the Almond and Avocado Curl Stretching Cream. And this product claims to help you save up to 30 minutes of detangling time. So we're going to see about that. It says it right here on the packaging, but we'll see about that. But this product contains like some really good oils and butters such as olive oil, sweet almond oil. It has jojoba seed oil, avocado oil, silk amino acids, keratin amino acids, cocoa seed butter, as well as, oh, it has coffee seed oil. That's interesting. That's something I've never seen in a product before. But I'm going to be using that to style my hair. And I'm also going to be using the Coconut Aminoid Deep, Mo Deep Moisture Oil Treatment. And I'm just going to be using this oil as a sealant. But let's go ahead and get into the washing process. So my hair is washed and conditioned and it's actually been under this towel for a minute but um yeah i love like love that shampoo and conditioner my hair feels so soft and it detangled so well like i don't even know what else to say except that I love it like my hair feels so good I think my favorite part is that the fact that it smelled really good and the smell wasn't overpowering or anything like that like it was bomb so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and start styling my hair using the curl stretching cream and the hair oil and to style my hair, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna do some twists and try to use it for a twist out because I'm pretty sure it is, yeah, twist or, finger, twist or finger style as desired. So I'm definitely going to use it to um, do a twist out. So this product smells good. It doesn't necessarily smell like the shampoo and the conditioner. I really like enjoy the smell of the shampoo and conditioner, but this product does smell good too. 
so this is what it looks like and this is the consistency it is a nice thick cream my hair is still a little damp but i am going to add just a little bit of water to it just to make sure that the product is able to have you know the full effect of what it's supposed to have because it does say to apply the damp hair so i'm now that i've done that i'm just going to take a bit of the product not too much because i really don't know how much i need just yet and just work it up my hair Now to seal in the moisture, I am going to use a coconut and manoe um, deep moisture oil treatment. This product smells really good. It does not have a coconut scent to me. I can't really put my finger on what exactly what it smells like, but it definitely does not smell like coconut. So you can see that it's a thicker oil and a little bit is really gonna go a long way. So I'm just gonna focus that on the ends of my hair. Next, I'm just going to begin the twist. So the process is simple enough, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the same process for the rest of my hair. I finished um, installing my twist. I kept it super simple and only did eight twists this time, so they'll be pretty chunky. I'm really excited to see how my hair turns out. So I'm not exactly sure how much time my detangling time was decreased by, but it definitely took me less time to detangle my hair. As you can see when I was in the shower, like it took no time at all to detangle my hair using the shampoo and conditioner. And then using this curl stretching cream, like as I was, you know, doing each section, it was super easy to work through my hair. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and wrap my hair up and then go to sleep and in the morning, as always, I will unravel my twist and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I have finished unraveling, separating, and fluffing my hair. And y'all, I do have to admit that my hair is not completely dry, but it's okay because I actually like the way that my hair turns out whenever I do a twist out and my hair isn't completely dry because I feel like my hair is bigger when it's not completely dry. Like it's mostly dry. Had I left my hair twisted for maybe like another two or three hours, then it probably would have been completely dry, but I have to go to work, so that's not an option <laughs> um, but nonetheless I do like the way that my hair looks I really like the way that it turned out although there is some frizz I feel like you know it's an okay amount of frizz it's not excessively frizzy at least not for me I mean I kind of like frizz so I'm not upset about it either way um, my hair definitely is stretched I feel like it is hanging longer than usual um, when I do twist outs um, so I definitely feel like the curl stretching cream lived up to the hype of, you know, elongating your hair, which I mean, that's what it's supposed to do. So I'm happy that it did actually do that. But my hair is nice and full. And I just know that by tomorrow, my hair is probably going to be so big, which again, I'm not mad about because <laughs> I love big hair. Um, but yeah, what do y'all think? Do you guys like these results? 
do you prefer to allow your hair to dry 100% before you take it out? Like, what are your thoughts? I think I am going to try this style again using these products. Um, and I am going to let it dry 100% just to see what happens if there's, you know, like a major difference between my results. Um, but other than that, yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what your opinions are. Let me know if you have tried this product. It's funny because Design Essentials has been around for years. I mean, it was like one of the first Design Essentials and another brand were the two brands that I used when I had relaxed hair. So that was over well, almost 10 years ago for me. Well, over 10 years ago when I was using these products. Um, so they've definitely been around for a good little minute. But I'm surprised to know that a lot of naturals or a lot of black women in general have never heard of Design Essentials. There's at least like two or three people within the last couple of weeks that I talked to about Design Essentials and it was like, oh, I don't even know what that is. Or they just learned about Design Essentials in the last five years. But Design Essentials has been in the game for over 20 years. Like I think it was what the ladies have been 27 years now that they've been in the game. So it's just surprising to me that not many people or that there are a lot of people rather who are unaware of Design Essentials. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> But yeah, if you've used Design Essentials products, let me know down in the comment section. Let me know what your favorite Design Essentials product is. Um, and other than that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell that's going to pop up after you subscribe so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And with that being said, I need to get out of here. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and always remember to stay dazzling. Thank you.